Well, greetings, Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope. So, let's look at the positive thing. What's positive happening for Taurus right now? Well, we've got Venus and Capricorn moving through the ninth house, so it makes travel more pleasant. And it also invokes the possibility of a long-distance love affair, or just maybe a more exotic and unusual way of looking at love. Sun and Scorpio, along with Saturn and uh, a few other flavors, North Node and Mercury. It is good for relationship, but you can negotiate. If you're willing to commit, we can make this thing work. If you are just, you know, tired in it, but you're tired because you're working so hard at it, maybe that's good too. If you're tired, just depressed because this person just makes you sick to your stomach, well, maybe it's time to get out. <clears throat> you know, maybe it's time to, you know, and, and this full moon might be just that perfect opportunity, Taurus, because that full moon is in your sign this Sunday morning. And I mean, the whole weekend really is in moons and Taurus. So celebrate who you are. Realize that in some ways you're just as much as the flavor of the month as Scorpio because you're on the outside looking in. You're the answer of groundation that we need during all this creative flip out, we'll say, with uh, Scorpio's key phrase, I create. So you are fecund with this information. And as the sun moves into Sagittarius into your eighth house, you might go through some personal transformation you won't be quite as in, in control of stuff. So it's, it's good to just let, let go and breathe as we uh, go through another phase. <clears throat>